Good afternoon, MPC. Kasama na natin si Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Presidential Spokesperson, Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, MPC. I'd like to make a major announcement. On the issue concerning the water concessioners of Metro Manila. <coughs> the water concessioner zone, Metro Manila, namely Manilad and Manila Water, were extensively discussed last night at the cabinet meeting. <coughs> and <coughs> the new water contracts to supplant the constitutionally flawed water concessioners' agreements that violated every prohibited act under the anti graft law prepared by the Office of the Secretary, or rather of the Solicitor General, as well as in collaboration with the Secretary of Justice Department and consistent with the principle of the president, the underlying principle under which his governance is based, which is serving and protecting the interests of the people And if you notice, all his acts were undertaken and are being undertaken toward this end. <clears throat> and last night, the president stressed that water is a natural resource and therefore cannot be used merely as a commercial commodity and exploited to rake in billions of pesos and profits at the expense of the consumers, the Filipino people. And as president, he cannot, will not, and can never keep a blind eye to this colossal rip-off. Hence, the chief executive is giving the water concessioners the option of accepting the new contracts minus the onerous provisions without any guarantee of not being criminally prosecuted together with those who conspired to craft the very onerous contracts which are, as we have many times said, and as the president described it, void of initial or void from the very beginning for violating the Constitution and the laws of the land. Should Manila and Manila Water refuse to accept the new agreements, the President will order the cancellation of their present water contracts order the nationalization of water services in their respective areas of operation and prosecuted or and prosecute rather all those involved directly or indirectly in the arrangement that led to the present suffering of the Filipino people. The Filipino people have lost enormously with the unabated collections by these concessioners despite their dismal performance in supplying and delivering, distributing water. 
And as the president <clears throat> previously uttered in righteous indignation and outrage to them, and I quote him, if you will not give justice to the Filipino people, I will get it for them, end of quote. There is a time for reckoning, and that time has come. End of statement. Question, Joseph? Sir, would you be able to share with us the copies of the contracts? Since you said it's been prepared by the DOJ and the OSC already. It will be shared to you when the time comes. But can you share with us the salient points well, of the contracts? The, all the onerous provisions are removed. Those are... are so it's yung non-payment of corporate tax? No, no onerous yung, provisions. Okay. And may deadline ba sila when they should accept or refuse? Walang, walang napag-usapan kapal, but siguro, as soon as they receive the contract. Has the, has the, has the contracts been ano, uh, sent to Manila? Not, yet, Manila. Not, yet. Not yet. It was discussed extensively yesterday and was explained <clears throat> in detail. So Similar contracts, sir, no? Hmm? Similar contracts lang yan. I mean, Definitely. area lang in Ibanang difference, no? Area lang in difference. Huh? Area of service lang in difference, no? Well, what do you mean? Yung, kumbaga, yung area of uh, The terms will be very, very different. From the previous, from the from existing. From the previous one. Okay, mm -hmm. Francis and then Henry. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Sir, kung, uh, verify lang or ano, clarify, clarification lang. Nabanggit nyo kung papayag po ang Maynila, ang Manila Water, yung mga owners, yung... Uh, sa bagong kontrata, uh, hindi na po sila, hindi na po kakasuhan ang mga owners, uh, Ayala at... I said Bakula. there is no guarantee that they will not be prosecuted. Okay. Henry. Secretary, you have mentioned water nationalization. Babawiin na ng gobyerno yung pagpapatakbo sa patubig kung hindi po susundin ng mga water concessioners yung bagong kontrata. Hindi nila tatanggapin. Okay. And they will refuse to operate. Thank you. Ariane? Hi, Sec. Sec, um, nakausap po ba ni President Duterte yung mga gumawa ng contracts before he came up with this decision? Hindi. Hindi po. So, hindi na po nagsik ng dialogue si President Duterte as he, contrary to what you earlier said. Okay, sir. And sir, last na lang po. Will the President uh, talk to the owners of Maynilad and Manila Water regarding this? Will he seek a personal meeting? Hindi na kailangan siguro. Okay, sir. Thank you, Paul. Julie? Sir, about the, ano, the nationalization of water concessions, uh, paano mangyari yun? Like what he said earlier, na military will take over? Or back to MWSS? Paano, paano mangyari yun? We'll come to that when it comes to fruition. So it wasn't discussed yesterday in the cabinet meeting? My follow-up question, still on water? Other issue? No more? Uh, Tina. Microphone, please. Aria. Sir, dun sa request, ng, uh, sa, sa request of special session ni Presidente, you, ano bang ano nun, rational just for additional <coughs> funds for the uh, repatriation of oil? Among funds. other things. So, so also, so that members of Congress can talk about it. But sir, don't we have enough funds since it's just the start of the budget of the year? May meron naman tayong funds sa ating mga OFW. Hindi ba kakulangin yun? You were talking here of expatriation of <laughs> roughly how many millions? Marami ito. So in uh, uh, how much is the estimate of this? Hindi ko alam, but uh, that's why the president is asking them to meet the special session. Sir, uh, the president has discretion over his uh, social funds, tapping of PAGCOR and uh, PCSO. Whatever the president wants that or suggesting that Congress meet in the special session. This is a very 
major problem that confront our countrymen in the Middle East? Sir, since this is really a big problem, sir, did the president discuss the provisions of the EDCA, Enhanced Defense no. Cooperation Agreement, whether he, the government will be allowing U.S. troops to pass by agreed locations in the Philippines for deployment to, to Middle East? No, needed. that wasn't discussed, but he has instructions with the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. I do not know exactly the instructions. This but the, <clears throat> the Secretary of Foreign Affairs excused himself so that he could start working on the instructions. There's no point, sir, at this time to discuss the provisions of the EDCA, whether we'll allow it. If there are discussions, then it will be done. Okay, okay thank you. Rose and then Alvin. Sir, follow up lang. Sir, napag-usapan ba yung posibilidad na magpadala ng Filipino troops in case na mag-escalate yung tension Kasi, uh, as per Mutual Defense Treaty or Visiting Forces Agreement or, or EDCA? I wasn't present during the, the meeting called with the President the other day. They could have discussed it. Hindi, hindi ko lang. So kagabi pa hindi napag-usapan? Hmm, that was not mentioned. So, thank you. Okay, Alvin. Good afternoon po, Secretary. Uh, Secretary, meron tayo kami iral na Mutual Defense Treaty sa Amerika. Uh, if force comes towards po, ano mga senaryo yung obligado tayong tumulong sa U.S. at magpadala ng pwersa ng ating militar? Uh, de depende. Kung, kung the provisions of the agreement will be observed, but then necessarily it will be operational. Follow up lang, Sec. Uh, yung mga senaryo na, ano, na pwede tayo manatiling neutral kapag nagkaroon ng confrontation yung U.S. tsaka uh, ang Iran and... Uh, no, Teka mo na. Hindi tayo magiging neutral. The President was very specific in saying last night that if the Filipinos are harmed, he will side with the Americans. That is precisely why he specifically instructed Secretary Mamao to go to Iran and Iraq and deliver a special message to the Iraqi and Iranian government <clears throat> of his urgent desire and wish that no Filipinos be harmed in the course of the conflict. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. If they will harm the Filipinos, then the president will not sit down idly and watch. Ay, sir, ay, kung nasaktan yung mga Pilipino dahil sa U.S. airstrike, paano po yung ganun? Ay, iba naman yun. Ay, kung aksidente. Ang sinasabi ni Presidente, huwag nyo idama yung mga Pilipino dyan sa away nyo sa Amerika. So, ibang, iba Kasi, pa... Kasi, hindi ba, we're supposed to be allies of the Americans. And <coughs> yung enemies might also attack not only the Americans, but the allies of the Americans. Pero pag nasaktan po yung Pilipino ng U sa U.S. airstrike, iba na naman yung magiging posisyon niya doon? Tingnan natin. Let's see. We, we cannot bring up what the president is going to say Gillian. or react. Uh, sa so water? Follow up. Oh, follow up muna. Tina and then, I'm sorry, Raymond. Sir, nabangin niyo if Pilipinos are harmed? the Philippines will side with U.S.? Yes. Uh, curious lang. Why? O bakit naman hindi? Eh kung papatayin mo mga Pilipino, gusto mo sabihin, hindi tayo i-imik. Eh ang kalaban nila, Amerikano. Kaya nila gagawin yon dahil kakampi tayo ng Amerikano. Mm, what if U.S. forces ang makapatay sa Pilipinas? Eh, tina sinagot ko na yan. Tinanong na yan, sinagot ko na. Thank you, sir. Okay. Athena, follow up. 
So is there a sh now a shift of uh, foreign policy? Hindi naman. Ang sinasabi lang ni Presidente, huwag niyong idamay ang aking mga kababayan dyan. <clears throat> And most likely naman, palagay ko naman hindi nila idamay. Sir, hindi ba... Kwentas claras lang para... Sir, hindi ba nakiki... Hindi ba kinoconsider ni Presidente na act of aggression yung pag-assassinate ng USK General Soleimani? I will not make any stand on that. <clears throat> That's a fight between Americans and Iran. Ang foremost in his mind is the safety of our kababayans there. Yun lang ang kanyang concern. Okay. Follow up, Joseph. Sir, when the President said that the Philippines will side with the United States, what does it mean operationally? Oh, I don't know. Basta yan ang sinabi niya. I'm just quoting him. It's his exact words. Um, may follow-up question pa doon sa... Julie. Sir, sorry, just for context. Oh, sorry, for context, how did the president say yung kung may masaktan na pinoy kakampi siya sa Amerikano? Hindi ano masaktan yung, kung sasaktan nila. Yeah, ano po yung kung context ng conversation? Kung yung gagawin mo. Yes, oh, ano po yung context ng conversation? How did he mention it? Ay kasama yung discussion. Eh. Kasama sa discussion. He was talking before. Eh, paano paano? I mean, during the cabinet paano, meeting okay. yun yah. Alam mo pag cabinet meeting extensive ang discussion. <clears throat> Kasama yun. Okay. Yun ang isa sa mga sinabi niya. Okay. Maricel? No, sir. Just a clarification. So, parang nagbigay ng warning si Presidente against the government of Iran. Not warning. Iran. It's a friendly caution. Okay. He's expressing his concern for the safety of his countrymen, which is foremost in his mind. Okay. Balik tayo sa Asian water. Jillian. Kung baga sinasabi niya, hindi kami kasali dyan, hindi kami sasama dyan. Okay na tayo ulit sa water na. Okay. Good morning po. Sir, has the President ever mentioned any deadline on when these two water concessionaires will accept the contracts? Wala naman. Wala naman po. Wait mo na. Joyce? Sir, just to be very clear, the president is talking hindi about the present clear, contract, oh, sir. Very. The present contract. Clear, but it's very okay. The present contract, sir. No, yes. hindi ito yung contract na extension extended. Well, so he's referring to. Eh, di ba, sir? Meron kasi extend extended contract, di ba? Hindi ganon din yun. Yung extension din the same contract yun. Eh. Inextend lang yung ano? Okay. Yung period. All right. And then, sir, sa cabinet meeting, um, napag-usapan din po ba yung review of other concession agreements with the government? Hindi. Iba ba? Okay. Sir, kasama ba sa nare-review ng, ng palace or ng government yung concession agreement ng LRTA and regarding the big parts? Hindi ba sinabi na natin na lahat ng kontrata na may onerous provisions? Yun, sir, kasama po ba yun? Lahat yun, yun, lahat yun. Kasama, sir, yun sa beep cards? Lahat yun pag-aaralan at tiriripasuin ng President. Eh, hindi is... matatapos ang termino niya na hindi niya tutuklasin ang mga onerous provisions in any existing contract involving the government. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, last one, Water. Raymond and Joseph. Sir, so, you said you are already considering it as void up in issue yung uh, contracts sa mga concessionaires, right? So, meaning, uh, any other player or concessioner interested to join, to bid with the concession contract is or are welcome. Aside Siyempre, from Maynila. Siyempre, kung nila tinanggap eh. Di ba? Kung nirefuse nila yung kontrata, ayaw nila, o edi... The, may bago kang players. Regardless whether they will accept the new... Hindi regardless, Raymond. Ikaw naman. <laughs> Meron nga bagong kontrata. Mm -mm. So pinapatanggap o, tanggapin niya yan. Kung tanggapin nila, di wala ng problema. Pero what if merong other interested party... Eh, may kontrata na nga. Ano ka ba? <laughs> Kung may kontrata na, di sila pa rin yun. Ah, sila pa rin. Ah, okay. Kaya nga may bagong kontrata eh. Kasi... Uh, Kaya nga sinabi... Uh, eh, kasi late ka kanina. Eh, ano diba sabi yung ko? Yung sa will... Teka mo na. Ang sinabi ko kanina, yan ang bagong kontrata, pero walang guarantee na hindi kayo po prosecute kasi may crime na committed. I'm taking from the strict definition of 
void ab initio. So meaning, walang kontratang pinag-usapan. So we are starting from scratch. So other players could be welcome Hindi. to join. <laughs> yung kontratang existing, as far as we're concerned, wala yun. Ayaw namin yun. So wala. wala yun. Illegal wala. yun eh. O ito yung bago bibigyan namin kayo. Tanggapin niya yan. Kung hindi niyo tanggapin, ito ang gagawin namin. Okay. So sa dalawa lang muna. Okay. Last two sa water, Joseph and then Tina. So when you said nationalization, no? mm. if they refuse nationalize tayo ng water services, that's government, right? Mm. No new players. Ano na? No new players. O, oh, nationalize eh. So, eh, pag na-nationalize, di gobyerno may hawak. Correct. So at least klaro tayo dun. Kasi may mga chismis, sir, di ba na, mm, you know? Chismis lang yun. All right. Okay, sir. Um, yung pong validity ng contracts na ibinibigay ni Presidente dun sa dalawang, yung bagong contracts, Um, valid for how many years po ito? Walang, walang na pag right. <clears throat> Okay. Last on what, Tina? So, sir, hindi ba yan arbitrary ang government action? Can the government just void any other contract and the executive action of the executive branch? Eh, kung void, I've been issue, eh. Pero, sir, it's the, it's the, it's it's the executive branch who, who decided on its own that oh, it is void. Hindi mag sila kung gusto nila. So is this is some sort of also kasi may rationalization it's is is this government takeover wala pa ang takeover wala pang takeover wala pang takeover plan kasi rationalization wala pang takeover pero pag pagdating sa nationalization yun ang may takeover pero that's still constitutional kasi hindi ba the government can take over public facilities in case of National emergency. Kung merong bagay na makakasira sa interest ng sambay ng Pilipino, eh, pwedeng mag-takeover ang gobyerno. So may national emergency na emerging because of this? Aba, ano man tawag mo yan? When you're being ripped off, you don't call that? That's against the interest of the entire Filipino people for many years? And not one single administration? Rose. Aye, sir. Did any initiative to correct such colossal error? Aye, sir. So, sa ngayon, sir, walang nag exist na contract. Eh, Kasi sabi niyo, void ab initio. Eh, paano yung consumers? Paano kami ibibil nung dalawang water concessionaires? Paano kami magbabayad? Pwede ba kami hindi magbayad dahil wala naman nag exist na contract ngayon? Eh, sa ngayon, lahat yan... Ganun pa rin, hanggat hindi na babago. So habang, kung habang wala pa yung bagong kontra, hindi yun ang gagawin nyo. So hanggang kailan po maghihintay ang consumers? Ay, hindi natin yung pagbigay ng kontratang bago at pagtanggap nila o pag-refuse nila. Mga hanggang kailan po yun? Ay, hindi natin alam. Immediately yun, siyempre. Hindi na alam naman patanggalin pa natin yun. Julie Water? Sir, uh, just a follow-up from Rose's question. Uh, di ba, uh, kung, kung void ab initio, eh di walang kontrata. Pero status quo muna tayo in terms of yung billing sa mga water consumers, correct? Ganun po ba yun? Or, pero kasi di ba, kung void ab initio, dapat wala kayo walang sisingilin sa amin. Paano pag may mga consumer na will use that argument na void ab initio? They cannot use that. Because? <coughs> Why not, sir? <coughs> oh, ikaw, ikaw question nila na, oh, wala pa lang kontrata in the first place since 1997. Dapat hindi kami siningil since eh, eh, 1997. Yun ang mga argumento ng mga pilosopo. Okay. Bakit, <laughs> Pero yung katotohanan, why not, you have to pay. Kung hindi ka magbayad, puputulang ka nila. Okay. Kasi sila pa, what, under, sila pa kasi lang, sila pa ang in control eh. Hindi pa tayo eh. Pero sir, under, oh. pa, paanong, kasi kung... Ang sinasabi hmm. natin, as far as we are concerned, the government, yan ay, void sa amin yan. Okay. Kaya, oh, <laughs> hindi kami papayag yan. So, tanggapin niya na yung bagong kontrata. Otherwise, we will take over. Ganun lang kasi. Wait, sir. Are you say, so, so oh. you're say, so tama ba yung ko, sir? Void ab initio yung contract between the government and Manila Water and Manila, but the contract between Manila Water and the consumer is not. Correct? Kulit. Ganun pa ba ibig niyo sabihin? <laughs> Basta, yun ang, yun ang ulitin ko sinabi ko. Ha? As far as we're concerned, yung kontrata niyan illegal. So, precisely, we're giving you a new contract. Tanggapin okay. nyo, pero walang garanti na hindi namin kayo ditimana. Okay. Pag hindi nyo tinanggap, ayaw nyo mag-operate, then we will take over. Okay. Uh, speaking of the contract, sir, uh, in-offer pa rin po siya sa Manila Water ay Maynilad. 
even if nagkaroon ng issue about the unrest provisions, gusto lang, gusto sila ka. So Kaya nga walang guarantee na hindi sila idinimana yes, naman kayo. The point being, sir, oh, ibig sabihin ano po, point? sir, ay um, satisfied pa rin ba si President Duterte sa services in general na Manila Water ay Maynilad? Kaya dun sa dalawa lang pa rin. Kaya nga papalitan yung kontrata. Paano maging satisfied? Ano ba yan? Hindi kasi, sir, <laughs> kung hindi siya satisfied, he could have opened it up to other players. Di ba? Kung may bagong kontrata, di susundin mo yung bagong kontrata, we are forced to good na gawin mo yung dapat mong gawin. Otherwise, mawawala ka. Di ba? Okay. So in other words, the president is giving these two water firms a second chance to prove themselves? Uh, Anong pantawag mo dun? Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. MPC, other issue? No more? Joseph. message po yung, yung may copy tayo ng budget message. Meron ba tayo? Well, Bigyan na lang. Uh, within yeah. an hour, sir? Within Sorry. the hour. <laughs> <laughs> within the hour. Sabi mo yan, sir. Ha? So uh, we start 101, you committed 101, we will expect it at 2021. <laughs> sir, yung sa repatriation lang, any other new instructions? Nakalipad na po ba si Secretary Mamaon? Basta, supposed to be ngayon sila lilipad eh. Oh, yeah? Oh, sabi ni President, bukas, lumipad na kayo. Uh, si Secretary Simatu and si Secretary Mamao, no? Hmm. Yung dalawa po. Today. Mahiwalay sila. Iba naman yung assignment ng isa. Pero dapat lumipad na today hmm. to talk to the Iranian government. Si, ano, si Secretary Mamao, more on particularly Iraq and Iran. Yung may special message siya. Maglalayas doon siya doon. Ito naman si... Si Mato, dahil sanay siya doon, siya ang we will lay, he will lay the groundwork for the repatriation. Logistics, sir, I mean. Hmm. Sir, you said special message of the president today. Yun na, yung special concern. Ay, yun, yung yun, yun, <coughs> yung saktan, okay. yung aking mga kababayan dyan. Okay, sir, thank you. Okay, no more question, MPC? Okay, thank you, uh, Secretary Panelo. Thank you, MPC. Thank Back you. to our studio sa People's Television Network.